So in this video, I'm going to review the album Imperial Congregation by the band Blood Red Throne. So this weekend, I was anticipating a lot of uh, new releases, and um, this band was kind of at the bottom of my list. Uh, I first looked at the cover, and I saw like the logo, and it looked like one of those like Norwegian black metal bands, and that's one of those subgenres I'm not really that into. But I did research the band, and I did find out they're actually like a death metal band, and uh, you know from there I did get interested in uh, checking it out. The band actually consists of uh, two musicians from two very big uh, Norwegian black metal bands. So there's the guitarist from Satyrkon, and his name is uh, Doniel Du Olaisen. And the bassist uh, is from the band uh, Emperor, his name is uh, Terrier Chorche. Um, he is actually no longer in the band, he was replaced by uh, Stian Gunnar Guntersen. And uh, on vocals, you got Ingve Bolt Christiansen. On guitar, we have Ivan uh, Mithuk Guzik. And on drums is Freddy Bolsa. So hopefully I got those pronunciations uh, more or less uh, correct. Um, the album was released on uh, Nuclear Blast Records. So the sound is old school death metal. So the band they remind me most of is like Cannibal Corpse. I do hear some hints of like early death, uh, the band Death from like the album Scream Bloody Gore or Leprosy. There are some hints of uh, black metal here as well. Uh, the vocals are very harsh, you know, similar to Cannibal Corpse or, you know, some people say those like Cookie Monster vocals. Uh, but on some songs you can hear like uh, some black metal screams. Um, the guitarists play a heavy death metal style. They do a lot of that like fast, like tremolo picking. But they also play those like heavy chords and at times the rhythms uh, do sound a little bit like that classic like thrash metal. You do hear the bass in a number of the songs. Uh, there's some really great like bass fills and they do remind me of like the band Death at times. The drums are very fast paced. There's lots of uh, blast beats, but there are like tempo changes. So the drums do, do sound very good. But the thing I like the best are the lead guitar melodies. Um, the solos, they do have lots of melody, you know, especially for death metal. And that's probably one of my favorite parts of the album. So there are only like uh, 10 songs or songs like the album's about like 45 minutes or so. I'll go through the songs quickly. The uh, first song is called Imperial Congregation. Um, so th this has the death metal riffs, the tremolo picking, the fast drumming, the blast beats, uh, the vocals are, you know, the harsh vocals. There are some uh, lead guitar melodies and uh, they do change the pace. So the drumming goes from like fast to like normal speed then to, there are some slow parts. The next one was uh, called Etika, and this was the first single. They did a lyric video for this. Um, I'm not really sure what Etika is. It seems to be some kind of like serpent. Uh, the video is very gory. It's, I recommend you checking it out. But this is a, a faster song. It has some uh, blast beats, some heavy thrash riffs, chugging guitars in the verse. There are some like uh, vocal screams along with like the harsh vocals. Um, the song moves at kind of a mid pace. You do hear some of the bass guitar in this and. Uh, Lots of melody in the solo, and really good song. Next is uh, Conquered Malevolence. Uh, this is a fast-paced, uh, you know, chugging guitar. It's really heavy death metal tremolo picking. You hear some screams in it. The guitars are melodic. And I do really like the ending riff, very like heavy, chunky guitar tone. And uh, this was actually the second single, and they also have a lyric video for this one. Next one is uh, Transparent Existence. This one uh, is more of like a complex death metal riff in the intro. There are some chunky guitar riffs in the verse section, really nice pounding drums, and a technical guitar solo. So this is one of the more like technical songs. Next is Inferior Elegance. Uh, this one has like a very heavy repetitive riff in the intro. The drums are very fast, the guitar riff seems kind of simple, but it's just very heavy. So it also has different like layers of vocals. They do mix those like black metal uh, vocals and the death metal vocals. So th there are some pretty cool uh, bass riffs here and very nice melodic lead guitar solo on this one. Next is We All Bleed. So in this intro, it's heavy, fast, the tremolo picking, the chugging guitars in the verse section. We got the blast beats and the shredding solo. Next song is called uh, 6 colon 7, I think, I'm not really sure what that uh, refers to, but it might be closer to like technical thrash metal, has some like chugging guitars in the intro, there's some heavy guitars, heavy chords, some blast beats, high pitched guitar fills, those like squeals, those sound pretty good, song has some time signature changes, 
very melodically guitar and this was actually the third single and there's a lyric video so I do recommend checking this out on YouTube the next song is Consumed Illusion so this is a very fast and heavy intro some fast drums a slight groove metal feel uh, with like have those like slow uh, string bends death metal uh, tremolo picking the, the melodically guitar and this one has like a slow breakdown with some heavy guitars next is Hero Antics and uh, this one Almost goes back to that like uh, extreme like thrash metal uh, style. Has the harsh vocals in the first verse, but they do add some black metal screams. They have some fast tremolo picking with some tempo changes. Um, the lead guitars, I really like the, the riffs here. The, they make do some like um, fills, kind of sound like a siren at times. And the bass can be heard here as well. The last song is called Zarathustra. It's the longest song, seven minutes long. Really nice bass sound. The song uh, is a little slower, but they do have some tempo changes. Uh, there are some fast drumming uh, at, at parts, but it does slow down at parts. And it does have some uh, melodic lead guitar playing. So, in conclusion, I did like this album more than I thought I would. It has a very old school death metal sound. Um, a lot different than some of the other death metal albums I have reviewed recently, such as like Rivers of Nile. This has that classic, like, early death metal sound. The songs were very well written. You know, the songs do sound similar at first, but, you know, you listen to the album maybe, like, a good three or four times, and, you know, you start to enjoy it a lot more. Really good album to listen to with headphones. You do hear, like, all the different, like, intricate parts. Uh, you know, you hear the bass guitar feels and the different, like, uh, lead guitar melodies. I mean, if you like uh, old-school death metal, definitely check it out. My score is an 8 out of 10. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the album. So, that is it. If you're a fan of uh, death metal, here's my most recent review of the Rivers of Nile album. I'll stick it right there. This is JC Rock and Metal Reviews. My name is John. I will see you in the next one.